Today's video is sponsored by Pickers Grip. Stop dropped picks and pick rotation while playing with Pickers Grip. Made with all natural ingredients in Virginia. Check out their website to order. When you support my sponsor, this also supports my channel and it's very much appreciated. Do fish get cramps after eating? Hey there, welcome to you. My name's Robert. Thank you so much for joining me here in my home studio. I hope you enjoyed the track that you just heard. All of the guitar parts that you heard in that track were all recorded with this big burly beast, which is today's forgotten gem of the past. This is, of course, the PV Windsor head. And uh, what a forgotten amplifier that this is. Let's twist the knobby some stuff here on this thing, shall we?
some pretty good tones to be had out of this thing uh you know this is this is a pretty uh, a pretty cool amplifier and one that uh you know kind of 
I mean, I've always known about them. I remember, you know, I was, you know, certainly familiar with them when they were new, uh, you know, but I was, like a lot of the world, they just weren't kind they kind of just weren't on my radar. Yes, they were, you know, it's an all-tube amplifier, uh, you know, but I, I think a lot of people brushed them off when they were still being made because, you know, they're, they're an import amplifier and brand new. They were, you know, they sold for you know, what, four or $500 or something like that. You know, they weren't expensive at all. They were designed to be, uh, you know, a, they were designed to be a very affordable all tube 100 watt head. And that's, uh, and they were certainly that, but what they also were that a lot of people didn't realize is, you know, it was also really kind of PV's, uh, take on the old, you know, uh, uh, you know, on the Marshall Plexi design really is what it is. And there's certainly a lot uh, of those, old classic Marshall Marshall tones in this amplifier but of course with a few extra features on it as well you know you might notice the effects loop there right in the center and I'm trying not to lean too far forward because uh, I, <laughs> I don't want to get out of range of my microphone but uh, you might notice the this one this amp actually has an effect loop there in the front uh, which is uh, you know which could certainly be handy for a lot of people um, effects loops are traditionally placed on the back panel but in this case, PV decided to put it in the front. Uh, all the way over on the far right-hand side, you will see the texture knob there. Uh, that is pretty cool because that switches back between, you know, or you can blend it anywhere between a, uh, a Class A low wattage uh, type of tone all the way up to a Class AB uh, high wattage type of sound. Uh, you, you know, kind of switching somewhere between a Vox uh, a Vox-ish uh, style sound and a Marshall style sound. I, I like it more towards the AB side, personally, myself. You know, single channel amplifier with a boost on it, uh, you know, but, you know, quite a bit of control over that single channel, you know. You know, three band EQ, uh, preamp gain, master volume, presence, resonance controls, uh, and again, of course, the texture control itself. Uh, you can get a lot of uh, a lot of really really cool classic rock tones. As, you know the gain is it doesn't quite get into metal territory, but you know as we've proven on this channel many many times at this point, a lot of that is also in the style of music that is being played, as well as the person who is playing it. Uh, sometimes a lot more than it is the amplifier. But you know for all intents and purposes, this is a rock machine. Uh, this is just a good old fashioned rock and roll machine. If you're looking for a good clean amp, this ain't it. You know, this thing does not do clean tones very well, and it's not designed to. Yeah, you know, it's not designed to. It's just, it's like you know, the old. It's like you know, classics, Marshalls from the '70s. They didn't do clean tones very well. You know, they're they're rock machines. They're giant, big, loud rock amps. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. You know, I got what I thought was a pretty fair deal. Uh, the seller was had this one listed for 275 and uh, was only charging 40 bucks to ship it. Uh, so, you know, basically we worked it out. I asked him if he if he'd cover the shipping charge, and I'd pay the rest, and he agreed. And uh, so, you know, I got this thing shipped to my door for 275 bucks. 275 bucks for an all tube 100 watt head. That honestly, I have no idea what you know the next time I'm going to be in an environment to actually need this thing. But when the day comes, I will now be prepared. Yeah, this is actually a fun video for me to make because I haven't bought a hundred watt head in a while. So uh, this was uh, this was a, this is a lot of fun. But uh, one of the reasons why I haven't bought a hundred watt head in a while is because this thing is heavy. Uh, just, I mean, it's I mean the head alone is you know forty pounds or fifty pounds or something like that. I mean it weighs a lot. I'm already getting sick of just lugging it around the house. But like I said, you know, for 275 bucks, killer amplifier. You know, if you run the right pedals and stuff through it, you can get just about any kind of sound out of it you could possibly need to get out of it. Uh, you know, Glenn Fricker's been raving about these amps for a long, long time, and now we know why. They sound great. So, so I'll tell you what, I'll post an eBay link down in the uh, description. So if you're looking for one, that would probably be a pretty good place to start, uh, and a probably a pretty good place to find one. Uh, you know, as well as links to all of the other gear used in this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe here at the end if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Sayonara.